All right, you guys, I'm going to show you how to go through Google Slides today. And the reason I'm going to give you this video is because one, as a visual learner and a kinesthetic learner, I like to learn by seeing how it's done and then actually going and do it. If you are an auditory learner, then you're able to hear me explain it. So it kind of hits a lot of your learning styles. The second reason why I want to go over how to use Google Slides is because this is how we're going to do like maybe 80% of our activities. Um, it'll be through Google Slides or Google Forms um, just so that you can get comfortable with it. So I want to make this video for you so you have it. So the very first thing I want to show you is this share button. Um, this is going to come in handy if you're working on a project. Um, you can share your slides with your school Gmail. So like my school Gmail is alexandria.williamson at nisd.net. So if I'm working on something and let's say it's Tuesday and it's not due until Saturday and I just, you know, I need to take a break. I can email it to myself so that when it's when I'm ready to go back to working on it, then I can just automatically go to my email for school. Boom, there it is. I don't have to go digging through my drive. Now, if you are somebody who likes to be organized and you want to organize your Google Drive, send me an email and let me know and I will help you organize your Google Drive. It's super helpful if you have an organized Google Drive. But with everything going on, I'm sure that's like the last thing on your mind and I don't blame you. So another option for share is you can share your assignments with your teacher to turn it in. However, the groovy thing with Schoolology is that when you're working on an assignment, you don't have to share it with me to see for me to see something that you're doing. I can actually see what you're working on through Schoolology. So if you have a question on something, just shoot me an email, use the button on our main screen just shoot me an email and say, hey, Miss Williamson or Miss Stroud or Miss Morales or Miss Garcia, I need help on this problem. And then I'll be like, oh my gosh, what problem is it? And you'll tell me and I can just go into Schoology. So use the share button mostly for keeping yourself organized and having it in your Gmail so you can work on later. The next thing I wanna show you is the background. So if you click on the outside area of your slide, not the part where it says click to add title, don't click that. On the outside area of your slide, you will come up with this screen and it says background, layout, theme, transition. The background is where you can change the background color. And when you change the background color, you can do it like a solid color or you can actually add fancy backgrounds like from your computer screen or your computer screen from your computer or you can look up images online. So if you're wanting to make things look a little bit fancier, that's how you can change the background color. The next one I want to show you is insert. This is a big one, you guys, because inserting stuff is super, super useful when it comes to our science class. We're going to be doing it a lot. So if you need to insert a picture or add a video or add audio and a textbook, a textbook, a text box, and you can add a shape. All of that stuff is going to be located in the insert option. Present. When you are given notes or if you notice that there's a video attached to one of your activities, use present mode because when you use present mode, your, um, your video will automatically play. So if you are not in present mode and there's a video, then you kind of have to mess around with the video to see if it'll even work or you'll have to figure out how to get it to work. And it can be very frustrating and confusing and I don't want you to ever feel that way. So if you open an assignment and it has a video, go into present mode and your video will automatically play for you. The next one are your undo and redo buttons. It's the arrow going backwards and the arrow going forward. So if you are working on something and you make a mistake and accidentally delete it, like, oh my gosh, I just deleted this text box. I need it. Ah! Don't panic. Just click the undo button, which is the button going backwards. Um, if you make a mistake and you exit Google Slides, let's say, oh my gosh, I just deleted this, and you panic and you it, you it, like leave Google Slides, you just click out of it, it will save it and then it's gone forever. 
and you'll have to re-add a text box or whatever it is. So don't panic, just click undo. The next one I wanna show you are these shortcut buttons. So we'll start with the arrow and I will go all the way to that line. So your shortcut buttons, um, the arrow is to select and you're normally going to be in arrow mode. Like if you were to have your mouse on the computer, it's usually in an arrow. That means you're selecting things. The next one is the text box. It has the T with the box around it. So if you need to add a text box, let's say you accidentally deleted it and you freaked out and you left Google Slides and you go back in and now you're like, oh snap, I'm done. Then you just go to that text box and add a new text box. If you need to add an image, so to the right of that text box is that kind of like that gray square and it has like a mountainscape. You're gonna click that upside down triangle and it gives you the option where you can load your image from the computer or you can look up an image. The one, two, three, the fourth one is where you insert shapes. And then the last one with the line is you can create arrows, lines, and actually scribbles. Where it says um, untitled presentation, that is where you can change the name of your presentation. So most of your assignments will have a presentation name for you and it's usually the title of the presentation if you want to add your name to that or you are creating a new project or a new presentation from scratch and you don't want to use a template that we give you that is where you'll put the title for your presentation now if you go to layout and theme so this is remember in that background you have not clicked on any of the text boxes yet you can change the type of slide you have with the layout option. And then you can add a theme to your slides by selecting theme. And so the theme will add whatever it is to all of your slides. All right, now we're in the text boxes. So in the text boxes where it says Arial, that is your, um, I don't know how to say it. Well, I know how to say it. I just can't think of the word. It is your default font. So if you want to change your font, you would just click on that upside down triangle and then you will choose from your fonts. And if you want to be fancy, you can actually figure out how to add um, more fonts to your font list so you have more options. Then you have your font size so it can um, make your words larger or smaller. And then you have your um, I don't actually know what they're called, but the B is to bold your words. Your I is to italicize your words. The U is to underline your words and A changes the color of your words. When you're doing the color, like I'm a very extra flamboyant person. So this is Miss Williamson, by the way. Um, so I love color. However, when you are choosing colors, make sure that they are easy to see and that they aren't like crazy bright that may like harm my eyeballs because that would just be tragic all right then you have the symbol highlighter so this little symbol is the highlighter it doesn't really say like i wouldn't look at it and think to myself oh yeah that's a highlighter so i really want to point that out to you guys and it's when you can highlight words and here you can add a list using numbers or bullet points and if you click those upside down triangles it'll give you even more options for your lists so if you want numbers and then your sub lists will be something else you can kind of pick and choose and that is your tutorial on google slides if you have any questions please email myself miss williamson or miss stroud or miss morales or miss garcia whoever you are blessed with as your teacher